What's up everybody? So I'm at Lake Wallace, man. I just realized that my camera was running off battery only. And it died on me. I got it hooked up to my power bank now. So I come out here and I put out two trot lines. I got those out. I think I caught a little bit of that footage, but like I said, I was just putting them out. And so I, just start, I decided to start brim fishing. Right there on the other side of that log, I done pulled out about six already, something like that. I keep catching them back to back, so. I just realized the camera was off as I tried to switch sides on the boat. So, they should be still right there, man. Y'all stay tuned, let's see what happens. All right, y'all. Let's see if they still there. I know they is, they hitting too fast. They not the real big slams, but they nice brim. They not the real big ones, but they nice. They nice size. Real nice. They definitely ain't the ones you throw back. They ain't they not real big. That's the size I'm catching right there. Good eating size. Mmm. Boy, he came off. people but they in there. They ain't the biggest brim, but they decent size. They nice size brim.
if they still there. Say they not the biggest brim you'll ever catch. They real, they nice size brim. They the ones you definitely not throwing back. It's like they borderline slayers. Like they was all they was getting there, getting to their size. Bunch of them right there too. Oh y'all still there, come on. Look at that. Back people. I heard by myself. Mm. Whoa. That's how I do it again. Yeah, like I say, they ain't the real big. You know, catching something bigger than that, but I haven't just seen a real granddaddy yet. Seen him go later. Yes, sir. Back to back, people. Count them as well. I don't know how many I got. I probably got. I hear 20 now. Mm, look at them. They all the same size though. I ain't caught one of them real big slabs yet. But that's nice though. Good eating size brim right there, man. Who wouldn't sell it for that? Having fun too, catching them back to back. Man. 
وين السيارة خلينا واش تيز سايم تايم ميني يوم موبل Well, if I had my ankle, I know some of y'all seeing it, but I got two of them now. But that's what I've been using the way down my trot lines, and I got both of them now. So it'll be alright. Watch this, it's coming up. <clears throat> Seems like I got to get a little over there farther to the left to make a hit. Pick it up and go with it. There might, there might, there might be some males. They might be throwing over there on top of a area they trying to bed up or something like that. Just an area they comfortable in. Or I don't know what's going on. But they over there. Now this is the first time I done, not the first time I came to this lake, but this is the best trip I done had at this lake in a good while. This lake can be kind of iffy, but it's a pretty big lake too. It's a pretty big lake, it's a real long lake. And uh, sometimes you just got to keep fishing, keep fishing until you find them. Find a spot where they bedded up at, schooling up in and stuff. Sometimes I come out here, I can't find them, or they just not bite. But sometimes I come, and I find this sweet spot just like this. I usually tight line when I come to this lake, but hey, today I'm catching them like this. I'm having fun doing it too. This real simple form of fishing. Jig pole, crappie pole slash jig pole. Real small cork, smallest piece of lead I got, gold swivel, gold number six eagle claw hook with crickets. It almost seemed like I got to get it in just the right spot. Seemed like they might be trying to slow down just a tad bit. Might not slow down on me. Mm. Well, he caught me off guard. I think they fall the back there in that real dark shade. Mm. I seen what he did. He picked it up and just moved along with it. Yeah, I think they over there. I 
They over there trying to get some beds ready or something. They ain't hitting this phase now. Probably done thin the map. Over here farther to the left. Mm. Yep. That's all I gotta do. Oh, they hitting at the court. This is so much fun. My goodness, my goodness. I gotta have about twenty something already. in there with him and not. Yeah, man. Man, it don't get no easier than this. You just pick it up and they own it. Shout out to my buddy Evan Horn. I texted him a while ago telling him, telling him I'm catching him, catching him in one spot. He cussed me out. <laughs> Yeah, he cussed me out, y'all. I said, man, I done found a spot in Lake Wallace. I'm catching him in one spot. Back to back. He sent me the middle finger. <laughs> Poor fella. go people he's still over there yeah my hook bent a little bit I better bend it just a little bit be on the safe side 
You always want to kind of examine that hook. Examine your swivel. I might stop using these gold swivels. They look collar on them. That little collar like to slide up and down. But sometimes it'll open on its own. I don't like that. But I love that gold flash. Fish can see that. Stuff like that will catch their attention. All my supporters that's having fun watching me catch these fish, I really appreciate y'all. Especially all my people that watch me, who are basically out here fishing with me. This is their way of enjoying the outdoors. I really appreciate y'all, man. I really appreciate it. Y'all just don't know how much I appreciate it. Mm. And when I pulled up to the lake, I was the only one out here today. Now, don't get me wrong, today is a Tuesday. Uh, as most of y'all know, I've been truck driving for the past 11, 12 years. Mostly over the road. Spent most of my time at one job. Then uh, I was with another company about a year and a half. I finally decided to come off the road. So right now, I'm just having fun to myself, taking time off. I've been off work a couple of weeks now. I'm gonna probably stay off maybe a total of two months. And then uh, my next job, I'll be at home every day. So that'll also give me more time to edit my videos and stuff like that because man, it was kind of hectic trying to edit the YouTube videos when I'm out on the road. I would take my laptop with me. A lot of those videos y'all are watching, I edit, I edited those in the back of a commercial truck at night. I made a, when I shut down for the night, I made a truck stop or a rest area, something like that. Sometimes I might be on the side of an exit ramp in Texas somewhere. I get in the back, work on my videos two or three hours. meet a lot of people that's interested in starting their own channel and stuff. Uh, you know, I'm always willing to give advice and all that type of stuff, but the main thing is, it is, it's a lot of work, a lot of hours of editing. Dang, they right there. Oh, that's a little one. You might keep him for bait. I could use some more bait fish, too. On my trot lines. A lot of work into YouTube, man. So, you, would I love to be able to one day to make this my job? Oh, that would. I would love that. But I started for the fun. I like showing y'all my way of life down here in Southern Arkansas, how we fish, how we hunt. I'm gonna start putting some more stuff in there too, man. Like some of my. Some of my cooking, I like the barbecue and stuff like that. 
Love the barbecue, fried fish. I like the smoked meat, briskets, and pork shoulders, ribs, stuff like that. I can't believe it. Been a good while since I caught them so fast. I wish they was just, I wish they was a little bigger than real big ones. Like I catch a grampus and perigee. Yeah, I settle for them. Sitting there with it. Hmm. <laughs> Just jumping out of the cooler. Now, would it be nice if it, if I get some good catfish on the trot line? That'd be real nice. I probably look at them before I leave. You just let them sit till in the morning. I'll come early in the morning and check them. See what's going on right there. Good bring them now. I'm having fun, y'all. I am having so much fun. <laughs> Might eat fish again today. Yesterday I fried, I fried four brim. My, my uh, fiance's aunt ate some with me. Ooh, they fight so good. Seems like they starting to get big.
see today. I've been having to work for the brim lately. I've been catching some good brim, but I've been having to really work for them. Hell, today, it's easy money here. Real easy money. Oh. Watch this. Catch one on that little piece of brick or creek right there. Let's see how hungry y'all is. Or how agitated, whatever you want to call it. Okay, let's try again. You know, if they don't hit it real fast, you might well pick it up. In this type of scenario, if they don't hit it real fast, just pick it up. Go right or left a little bit. And that's what happens. tell you when I got here it looked like I was the only person here. I was the only person in the parking lot. Oh my god, this is crazy. I wish I could have my pops or my my uh my grandma out here with me, boy. I tell you. My grandma have time her life. I can hear her now. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. <laughs> That's why I get them sound effects from when I'm fishing. She be so excited, boy. Pulling them fish out with that big old cane pole. <laughs> oh man. I'm telling you, boy. These are good old days. Now I'm getting old. Yeah, I don't have my ankle, y'all. I gotta keep fighting the wind.
Come on, trolling motor. Let's start this shit. I can't even eat, y'all. I'm having too much fun. I'm about hungry. I can't eat my lunch. <laughs> oh, boy. this hole. Yep, 
in there too. They all over this area. And it's going down. Swallow it too. Got to bend my hook again. Go ahead and count these suckers, y'all. I better go ahead. All right, everybody. So I just counted up my fish, man. I got my lemon on brim. It was a nice day, man. Right after I laid out my last trot line, I started brim fishing. The first little area, I wasn't getting any bites. Once I made it down to that spot where I was really catching them at, I never left that spot. I may have to throw to the left here, throw to the right there or something if they didn't hit it right then. But I caught all the fish right there in that one spot, man. I had a real fun day. They weren't the biggest brim I done caught, but they were nice sized brim. So, like I said, I had my fun, man. Caught them all in one spot. They were biting for the most part back to back. At the end, they got a little slow. I had to work a little bit, but I got my limit, man. I can't complain. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to give these trot lines a look. Make sure all the bait is on there or see if any fish may be on there yet. They hadn't been out there that long. Well, a few hours now. So I'm going to give them a look. Take any fish off that may be on and replace any bait. And then I'm going to get out of here, man. So yeah i'm ready to go home relax man check this out i appreciate y'all for watching thank you to all my supporters i really 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 appreciate it man if y'all like this video please give it a like consider subscribing it doesn't cost a thing to subscribe and i'll catch y'all in the next one peace